Hi everyone, it's your friend Syndicated. I'm showing you this plant called Eve's Needle or Astrocylindropuntia subulata. Um, don't quote me on that. It's I wrote it in the beginning. So, anyways, these are the ones I cut them about in half because they were growing really tall, and I wanted uh, to get pieces of them because I was afraid um, they get too tall, they get top heavy. Sometimes they keel over. There's some new growth right here, and then I put cinnamon powder on the top so it won't get an infection. So after you clean all the spider webs off of them, here's one of the first piece I cut. It's one of the tips, and you see it has a baby growing here, a little new growth that's going to pop out of there. So, yeah, they get little arms and stuff. They're, these are really cute, and they do, they do have spines. You see the white ones? But the green ones don't hurt, and so and the, the white ones are spaced out, so you can totally pick these up, no problem. Just be careful. Um, it's always a good idea to use gloves. So, yeah, you see the baby is so cute. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to clean up more spider webs. There's the fresh wound, right? The fresh cut, but guess what? They're really easy to propagate. So I'm trying to dip it in here, but <laughs> finally I just put it on there and shake it off. That's the cinnamon that I used. This one I got it from I don't know where. I buy any kind, it doesn't matter. I've had no problem. Every cinnamon that I've bought has worked well. 99 cent one, 2 one So here, then I got five pieces out of the one. And I put them in here so they could just rest. Okay, oops. Don't look at my foot. <laughs> so then anyways, I go on and move on to the next one. And this is how big the other one was. It's a little bigger than the first one. And but the t the top was more tapered. It was a little narrower. So here's the cinnamon I use. It's good to put in a cup or a saucer, so that way you can dip your end in there if it's not too large. But if you have a little saucer, it's cool. Anyways, okay. So here's the second one that I minced up. There's the top, and then I got one, two, three, four. Five, six. I got six pieces out of that one, so I got one more than the other one. So, yep, this is how they look. And on the bottom, make sure it's covered well with the, um, on the Maristem, cover it with the cinnamon powder or whatever. If you want to use rooting powder, that's great. I find um, cinnamon powder more economical and works just as well as far as I'm concerned. So, put them all in this um, plastic container and I'm going to put them in the greenhouse. You need to keep them with uh, not too much sun, not too much shade. Partly shady, partly sunny. They're all taken care of right here, and I'll leave them alone and just leave them to their own devices, and they'll be doing fine in a while. This is a really cool knife. It's uh, I got it from the Asian supermarket. I'll show you them later. Bye! Thank you for watching, and then I'm just going to show you right here where I put them in the greenhouse. And that's it. Okay, see you later. Please like and subscribe. Bye! Arigato!